Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha Naomi and here on this channel we focus on content such as fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So I just wanted to hop on here and say hello because I realized as I'm editing this vlog that is this video now, uh, I didn't make an intro. I just really randomly started vlogging so I wanted to come on here and say hello, introduce myself, welcome hit the like button subscribe because it's gonna be lit um this is not a very fun vlog here i mean i had a blast but yeah all we're gonna be doing is going out to eat pretty late at night getting some junk food that our body does not need but after that we will be printing some plants get getting ready to do a massage <laughs> and yeah a lot of talking a lot of trying to really just build up my confidence and my self-esteem with this whole vlogging thing uh as much as i want to do it it makes me uncomfortable and i realized that as you can see throughout the vlog i'm really just trying to like build myself up and it's really a beautiful thing and i know that i'm gonna look back at this video and be grateful one day so yeah, there's a few times where I just kind of start explaining my own fears and I really think I'm just talking to myself. Um, and there's a few times that it's kind of repetitive and I realize like, no, I don't have to edit that out. That's authentic to my process right now. And it's okay that that's where I'm at, that I'm in practice mode and I'm in repetition mode. So anyways long story short i hope you guys enjoy the vlog thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking the video uh interact with me in the comments you guys i want to build a community of people that are like me or people that aren't like me or whatever if you like my stuff let's get into it and yeah so there is that i hope you enjoy and ciao It's so crazy. It's crazy how, like, as I grow and do better, it's almost inevitable for me to, like, go backwards and retract and fuck up a little bit more. I say that because literally I've been so good at eating clean and doing well, but, like, the past few. Honestly, like the past few days, I've been going out to eat to McDonald's late at night. Like, it's almost 12 o'clock in the morning, and the only reason why I'm going and doing this now is because I did not eat today. I did everything but eat today. I cooked, I cleaned, I did massages, I made my money, um, but I forgot to eat. It's not that I forgot to eat. Cause it's not forgetting it's i continually chose to put myself last like i've got to really reprogram my mind to like see myself as the top priority above a clean house and above making my money like the fact that i'm just running on e like on my stomach is not okay but anyways i also gotta get better at not being so damn hard on myself so that way i can like really do what i want to do because i find that like i can spiral with the shit be so damn hard on myself and then neglectful <sighs> this is like the third night in a not in a row but in like a in a week that literally just like did not eat and it's so funny too because in the morning i don't know if you guys can relate this may sound kind of weird but in the morning i actually like when my stomach grows like i like that feeling of being hungry um i was thinking about this too i think it's kind of funny though because i don't know much about ramadan but is, but isn't that what ramadan is all about is like fasting throughout the entire day and then you eat at night so it's funny how like even though i feel like i'm out of alignment i can see how i'm in alignment with other things i mean mcdonald's is never 
the right thing but it is what it is honestly and I feel like I do this thing where like I'll wait till my life is perfect or damn near perfect for me to want to put out content but when I look back at my old content my old vlogs back when I was actually vlogging here and there I really like them I really do I like just talking and vibing and I realize that I'm getting more comfortable with myself I'm getting more comfortable with like the idea of just whipping out my phone and vlogging like it's not that foreign to me anymore and anyways so I'm actually excited I'm really really hungry I just want to eat and after that I'm gonna go to bed I feel good though I love when I can like cheeseburger with a medium fry and um, a spicy McChicken. Okay. Uh, and that's all. Okay. And did you want to round up the dog to try Yes. Okay. You said it was $8. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. But anyways, I am about to get this food and then I will tap back in with y'all. I'll probably just eat in the car tonight, honestly, because 
I didn't even left the house today. I've just been in go mode at the house working from home, so. That's what I'm talking about. That shit right there. I didn't even order this. I don't even know what it is. But she's like, hey, you want that? And it's not even about the drink. It's about the act of like, I love surprises. So I don't know. I know I'm in alignment. That's all I'm saying. Like, I just, God knows my heart so well that he'll surprise me in only ways that I would re be able to receive and really appreciate. conceptually if you wasn't exposed to that at a young age then how could you really be built like that you know what I mean so oftentimes I find myself in situations with people where I'm like oh damn I gotta let you go now because it's like principle is a big deal gratitude is a big deal loyalty is a big deal the fucking uh yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, let's taste this cute little surprise drink. Mm. So good. I don't know what it is. It's not too sweet either. I was expecting it to be pretty sweet. They must have made it wrong, but it, I like shit like that. You know what's funny? It is not as sweet as I expected it to be. It's actually not that sweet at all. And that's probably why they gave it to me. But the funny part is, I'm the type of person where I'll put like water in my juice just because I think that juice is too sweet by itself. I like to water my juice down. But anyways. Anyways, yeah, I'm vlogging. I'm here now. I'm doing it. Like, I'm ready for all the things that come with it. I'm ready for people to kind of like stop fucking with me. And it's been happening. A lot of people stop fucking with me. I know a lot of people think I'm weird, but I have to realize, like, and I think I finally got it. I think after really training myself to think, like, you got to stop caring what people think about you. I think I'm finally in that space where it's not like I don't care, but it's like, how could I let that get in my way, though? You know, like now that I know that that's what's going to happen, like, regardless, it's still worth it to me to because me, one thing I'm grateful for, like, I was raised by a go-getter you know what I mean so like I understand that there's literally nothing in this world that I couldn't have and keep and hold and touch and experience um and that's got to be one of the most freeing things about me as an individual is that I really believe in everything I believe in everything I think that my theory is like if the thought even if if we can think of it it already exists you know the very thought is is manifestation enough for it to exist so yeah i believe in like aliens and <laughs> just cool shit you know what i mean like yeah not too much not too much you know what i mean i'm not out there out there but i am out there and i like it out here it's a vibe out here shoot i guess we could turn this on Hopefully there ain't no police around because I know you're not supposed to be driving with that on. But anyways, chill. I'm a happy kid right now. I'm a happy kid. I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. It is what it is. It's gonna be it like I see the future. I love that for me. I love that for me. I 
feel really gifted to be able to see into the future. Like, now don't get me wrong, I do be wrong sometimes, but I think that's all a part of that's the point is to kind of like being wrong in my visions also keeps me humble because if I was to know everything about everything, I would just be what's the point, you know? So I like when I'm wrong sometimes, I like when I get little surprises or I'm surprised or yeah, I eat that shit up so. I don't know. I'm just happy. I feel happy. I've been feeling this like strange happiness where it's like this is a bit much for nothing to be going on really like I'm not dating nobody like literally not seeing anybody not talking to anybody I'm falling out with people left and right like I'm having hard conversations with my family members that are really strengthening the relation. Well, they have to really kind of it's uncomfortable I don't think any relationship in my family has ever actually been broken. Tested for sure. Tested for sure. Especially lately. Like, woo. But it's it's cool to um, see how I respond to it as a woman now. Like, it's cool. I'm proud of who I am. I love being who I am. I think, now this might be one of the most cocky things I ever, I'll ever say, but... I think a lot of people would actually love to be me too because my life is pretty lit and it's really chill all in the same the same breath like i put this vision i okay here's an example of how i be um really manifesting all but also just kind of seeing the future i printed out a picture of this very car with these seats and i put it on a vision board i just put it on a piece of cardboard i'd actually just cut open a Amazon box, right? Cut it open, made it flat, and that was my vision board. And within a couple of months, I, God was like, God, me, whatever you want to call it, be patient, be patient, don't get that car. Yeah, that's a Mini Cooper, but is it the Mini Cooper with the orange seats? No, it's not. So just be patient. And even when I found this car, it was way out of my price range. But even then, I was like, okay, I'm going to still be patient. Because, like, if you believe, then you believe. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes down to faith and fear, you really got to pick a side. You can't really sit on the fence with it. If I would have sat on the fence with it, I wouldn't even ask the lady to let me see the car. No, and I don't have that amount of money. I was like, okay, I got half the amount of money. I'm going to still ask her to see the car. And I'm going to let whatever happened is going to happen. So... Long story short, I get the car, we take it for a test drive, everything's perfect, and then it was funny too, my my faith really got tested because um, immediately after I took it for a test drive, another young lady who looked like she had a lot of money and she did her parents had money like it was quick but it you know you could pick up on shit quickly like they hopped out of already a nice ass car mom and dad i'm just there with you know a friend or whatever like i'm like oh shit they're about to take the car next for a test drive i waited for them to get back from their test drive and i watched how excited she was and she loved it just as much as i loved it and i still kept my faith knowing that i didn't have the money knowing that she had the money and she was ready to pay but because the lady that sold me the, this car was so big on integrity and she was really a woman of her word, she said, well, you messaged me about it first, so I want to work with you. And I explained it to her. I was like, yo, <laughs> I want this car. But here's the deal. I only got half the amount of money. And if you work with me, that'll really just make me happy. Like, that's it. And she, it, without hesitation, she was like, okay, cool. And I'm like, what? <laughs> really? And so, yeah. Yeah, she turned down somebody that had all the money. And she was able to give it to me just based on the fact that I had test drove the car first. And that I had hit her up first. Um, and I think that that's super cool. Cause, and now, now I know that's the beauty of it. Now I know that when it comes time to sell this car and some somebody wants it and they ain't got enough, 
I'll gladly with joy in my heart be able to like hell yeah say less and she gave me all of like the decor in here is so cute and all of the accessories like she just let it go and I think that that's true abundance is when you can and she was happy to do so and I'll never forget that lady and it was just cool I remember the drive home after getting this car I just wept and I blasted music and I fucking lost my mind but anyways that's my reality that's just one little story of like how god will really and it's funny too that's another conversation for another day how uh how powerful and how beautiful and how easy life can really be um and just looking at me you wouldn't know half the shit i've been through like not even a quarter of it so it's cool it's cool thank goodness i don't look like what i've been through but i look like what i believe in <laughs> you see what i'm saying like I don't look like what I've been through, but I look like what I believe in. I'm way too raw. I'm excited. I love to talk like this. I talk like this to myself all of the time. So let's see what this is. If there's a little. No, baby, this ain't Starbucks. They ain't gonna have the. Sometimes I feel like people get annoyed by like my happiness. Cause even when I just picked up the drink from her, I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. She just kind of looked at me like, it's just a drink. But it's like, no, it's not. It's not just a drink. It's way more than just a drink. It is just a drink. But I feel uncomfortable eating out here. So I'm going to take this inside. I'm going to eat. I'm going to go to bed. And I'm going to catch up later. And I will catch up later. Hey vlog. So I'm back to vlogging and I'm very excited. Um, I figure that I can just get over the fact that uh, nothing's going to be perfect. I'm not perfect. My vlogs aren't going to be perfect. Even though I've tried to perfect vlogs in the past. I just want to be more consistent. I want to be... Like, as obsessed as I am, I should be way more consistent. So, anyways, I have got a massage in a couple of hours, but I've got to clean. My brows look crazy. I've got to clean downstairs. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go downstairs. We're going to prune some flowers. We're going to... I want to repot this plant, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do it before the massage. Kitchen's a mess bed i'm getting some new sheets today so i'm like the bed is just looking crazy but it's okay because this is real and really realistic and i feel like maybe even relatable I've got stuff to do i'm not staying on top of everything in the moment but we are getting on top of everything so anyways i got about an hour and a half before my next client comes i'm gonna go downstairs prune the plants sweep i don't have time to mop so we're gonna swiffer and then we're gonna get our hot towels ready make the massage table and that's it after the massage i will check back in with y'all but for now just enjoy some very classic b-roll of me doing what i do on a very regular basis so i will definitely come back and talk to y'all after my massage and we'll have a quick little chat because i got some things i kind of want to tell y'all <clears throat> and talk to y'all about so yeah see y'all soon
I blow your whole spot. this vlog like two days ago and pretty much what is going on is it's about let's see what time is it 2 24 in the afternoon 2 25 i really want to get back onto like a healthier sleeping habit because i've been going to bed at like 11 12 1 every night for a long time which causes me to wake up really late around 8 30 9 when i've got things to do right at 9 30 so which causes my whole day to just be Way more hectic than what it needs to be so what i am about to do is even though it's only two almost three in the afternoon i'm gonna meal prep for the next few days so that way i'm not going out to eat and i'm not like spiraling on that cycle of going out to eat eating late all that stupid stuff so i think i'm gonna just let you guys like watch me cook um Watch me cook my meal prep, which is just going to be some drumsticks, chicken, black beans, rice, and then every day I'll just make a fresh salad alongside that. So, yeah, I'm happy now because I think I haven't been filming a lot of vlogs because I only have the one phone and that's the same phone I like to listen to music to while I cook, the same phone I use while I'm at the gym. On the same phone I do everything on so I'm hoping that since I invested in another cell phone I'm gonna actually pop out the sims card that's in here and put it in here that way I can just use this strictly for communicating with the outside world then this phone can be specifically for content and uh yeah I really want to get this meal prep out of the way so that I'm set for the next few days so that I'm prepared and then also I want to pamper myself tonight because I can't even tell you the last time that I like did a face mask and soaked in the tub. So we're going to, oh, and I also would like to film myself repotting my money tree downstairs. Um, it's really cold in here. I don't know what's going on with my AC. And also I just want to redo my hair, but I want to dye this U-part wig to a lighter brown so later on after the meal prep after i like watch a movie and relax because i've been on go i've been going to the hospital a lot my sister had a newborn so i'm super happy about that but i've been just like everywhere everywhere but here and everywhere but here so i need to recenter and rebalance and ground but i can't do that until i get some things done so on the agenda for the rest of the night you guys are going to come with me we're going to cook right now after we cook, I'm going to chill out for a little bit, watch a movie, and just try to let my mind kind of not have to focus on anything right now. Um, so hopefully it'll get dark soon so I can go watch a movie downstairs because I can't really, I'll show you guys, like I can't really watch movies unless I'm watching it on this TV, which it just gets boring up here. And downstairs I have a nice big projector, so hopefully it's dark by then. I'll watch a movie downstairs and then... I really want to replot, so we're going to cook, watch a movie, repot our money tree. She's been begging to be repotted. I really need to repot these other plants too, but I got to go find bigger pots for them. Not only bigger pots, but bigger nurseries. And nurseries are really hard to find these days, like the plastic parts. And I don't know. I couldn't find any, and I went to a few different stores the other day. So cook, repot, movie, and then we can go and get some box dye. I'm not gonna dye my hair today. I'll probably dye it on like Saturday or Sunday. And then I will also, I wanna put, I'm having so much fun with this hair that like I'm ready for a little change. So I'm gonna add some like really deep layers into it so I can get more body out of it and some curls. So that will be on this weekend's vlog. I'm gonna do my best to really just be consistent with vlogging. 
it's funny because when I do it, I literally become obsessed with it. And I'm like, damn, if I could just keep doing what I want to do, it'll be good. So, <sighs> yes, let's cook dinner right now. Chicken, rice, black beans, and a fresh salad, even though it's only 2.30. So, we're about to cook right now. Well, I've got to clean. So after I clean, I'll bring y'all along with me to cook because ain't nobody about to cook in this dirty kitchen. Don't ever cook in a dirty kitchen. The food can never come out good. If you're cooking in a dirty kitchen, it's a big no-no. The food's bound to come out bad if you're cooking in a dirty kitchen. I believe that. But anyways, let's go. I've got my salad, I got my chicken over a bed of yellow rice, and I did not like, I'm trying to get myself to like beans, but I did not like those black beans at all. Like, I think I just don't like beans. I don't know, maybe I had cooked it too quickly because they were very, very dry. So I'm gonna scratch those beans and just kind of toss them because they was not good at all. Um, next time I'll try like a red bean, because I do like red beans and rice. I just have never made red beans and rice, but anyways. This is my dinner. I'm about to grub, so let's eat. absolute hit <clears throat> so delicious mm. so good that's one thing I know how to do is make some chicken y'all I don't even know what kind of chicken that is it's like poached chicken because it's not fried chicken and I removed the skin because I do not like skin on my chicken unless it's fried so and crispy it has to be crispy but yeah as y'all could tell that was delicious Oh, let's go watch a movie. Hey vlog, welcome back. So, you guys just watched me cook. I didn't do anything after I cooked because I found a big old spider in my bathroom while I was in the bathroom, right? And it was so big and scary. I couldn't bring myself to kill it. So I sat in the bathroom and I cried and I screamed, literally cried and screamed for like, why, why? I cried, <laughs> I'm not even joking, I literally shed tears. It was such a big old bug. And anyways, so after that I was exhausted, after I finally like mustered up the energy to kill that damn bug. I was so tired, so now it's the next day after work, of course. I am looking dusty and crusty, I'm done with work. But I wanna go edit this vlog and just see how much editing I can get done while I watch a movie. 
And then after I edit, I'm gonna reward myself and get everything that is in my Shein cart because I've been wanting to do some online shopping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then after that, I'm gonna let you guys like kind of watch me make a movie, make a movie. Watch me watch, let's see if we can find something on Netflix pretty much. I wanna find something to watch because I haven't sat down and watched TV in like a really long time. Like it's so crazy. When I think about it, I really don't be watching TV at all. Um, which is fine, but it's kind of like, man, I should be able to just watch a show and chill out for a little bit, not keep myself so damn busy. But so we're gonna edit and watch a show and then we're gonna do some online shopping. And then tonight I am, I deep cleaned the bathroom last night after I seen that spider. So like the bathroom is super clean. Um, then we're gonna go and take a nice hot bath. And I also got something I wanna show you guys that I've been wanting to try for a very long time for my skincare, after my skincare routine or whatever. So let us go find a show downstairs. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, by the way, I did pick up a new phone yesterday too. Just a little burner phone that I'm gonna start using to communicate with. So now this phone is specifically dedicated to, and I hate when it does that sometimes. So I got this projector on Amazon, y'all, and I actually really like it, but it does this, so I just have to like turn it off, turn it back on. And third time is literally, it always works the third time. It might still skip out a little bit. It might not though, let's see. Third time's always a try. I mean, third time's always a try. And it is crooked, but I just kind of like try to adjust it as much as I can because it doesn't bother me that much. Um. I feel like it continues to get more and more crooked, but anyways, that's as dark as it's gonna get in here. So, which is doable. We can obviously see the wall really well. So anyways, let's find something to watch. Cozy, I'm trying to get cozy. This has to come up a little bit. There, I need a pillow up under my knees. They ain't got no heat down here at all because it's so big like the heat rises so the heat really doesn't come over here at all but anyways not complaining at all okay boom now I'm cozy now oh yes I got my little mic so I can do the voiceover to this vlog. This will probably be. Ah! I'm so happy. Okay. Let me take a bite of these. And it's funny because back in high school, I used to eat one of these a day. Now, I think I've had this bag for like three, four days. So, I'm gonna eat a couple at a time. Really? I remember the first time I had these in my life. I was in elementary school. I was walking home from school and I stopped at the gas station that I wasn't supposed to. And I bought these. Eh. Hi, baby. Hi, I'm Steve Butt. Hey, stink butt. The time now is, I gotta change this background as soon as possible. 4.50 p.m. Mm. <sighs> Let's see what we can watch. Shall we? We shall, come on. Working moms, this looks funny. Into a lunge and a half moon present, and then come down for a boat house. Can we all be brave adults and just admit that babies don't need yoga? Today, okay, boring. Like, no shit. Ozark was cool, but it just got it's like, okay, people are gonna die. I get it, you know what I mean? Like, ugh. the first season was cool because it had like a backstory that was exciting, 
But it's like, how many people are gonna die before we decide that this is just not that entertaining? Big Mouth is stupid. I would never watch that shit. What is this? Chimp Empire. No, I'm not in the mood for that right now. That looks kind of scary, not gonna lie. Trailer Park Boys? No, thank you. Cat Williams. Perfect match. This looks like reality TV. I hate reality TV. Obsession. It's gonna be about watch infidelity and sex. That's it. Luther. Now, I love Idris Elba. This looks good. I'm not much of an action gal, but if we can't find anything else, we'll come back to that. Dahmer. And that's another thing too. With Dahmer, it's like, this is not entertaining. It was just, I mean, it was captivating, but I feel like it's just highly disrespectful to make murders entertainment. Like, it's just like, pick a side. Is it entertaining or is it fucking horrifically devastating and disgusting? Or is it entertaining? Like, no. Let's just, let's keep the entertainment to fairy tales. Let's not turn because I think that that confuses the crazies, you know? I'm like, oh, well, I want to be an entertainer, and then they go kill more people. Like, nah. They cannot be heroes. Okay. Not into the ghosties. Ugh. Oh, this looks funny. We love them both. Let's read it. While his family away, with his family away, a devoted stay-at-home dad enjoys his first time in New Year's in years by joining his hard-partying old friend with a wild birthday adventure. Eh, I bet that's funny, but this actually looks better. Let's see what unseen is about. A house cleaner desperately searches for her husband as a. Dreaded criminal syndicate dredges up the tragedies and ultimately drives to her violence. No, too close to reality for me. See, I really want to watch Top Boy, but I can't take it seriously with their accents. It just sounds like, okay, we get it. Drugs, sex, and murder. That's all that that's going to be about. I feel like shows just lack real entertainment nowadays it's really hard to find something that's actually entertaining oh we get it you're strong beef was funny because it was different it was different they really dragged the whole road rage thing it's pretty cool because because i think it shows a lot about like house instances and in certain situations really are representative of people but anyways wednesday was cool just because it had so many cool visuals oh i hate this this is probably why i don't watch tv let's see Santaro can take care of your wife mm -mm. none of this Not they paid the girls to talk about R. Kelly. Prosecution methodically told us the story of Azrael Clary. There she is giving this testimony, including how she was coached uh, along with Joe Savage to lie to Gail King from the transcript. Were you truthful when you spoke to Gail King? That's scary. Anyways. Key and Peel. I like Key and Peel. 2013. Why do I feel like I haven't seen this one? Wait, what just happened? I didn't do anything. 
Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Okay. The Strays. Let's see. Come on, let's find a movie. I've been looking for a movie for five minutes. What is going on? Why does it keep refreshing like that? Chapo, drugs and murder. I'm over that shiz. Oh, what was that? Unstable. A biotech genius tries to bounce back from the depths of grief with his help from his son, who works to escape his dad's shadow and save the family's business. Why does it keep doing that? I'm not doing anything, and it's like doing something. This looks good, but I'll probably have to read too much and I'm trying to edit. Now I'm annoyed, because why does it keep doing that? I, w I wanted to watch that last one. I don't even remember the name. Good thing I'm recording, because I could go back and check it. Ooh, you know what's funny? Earth Storm? No, that's not funny at all, actually. I mean, oh, and it's real stories. Never mind, I'm not going to say what I was about to say, because it's probably stupid. A simple lie can lead to a world in a trouble. In this rom-com, a woman lies to her ex, spirals out of control, exposing secrets of a couple of friends who are... Ooh. I've been liking the, uh... Nah, I'm cool. The Gentleman. I'm just going to try this because just off the top, I don't know. It just has a good vibe to it. Like real crisp. So let's give this a shot. Get ready for a brand new All right. So we have come to the end of this vlog. And as I'm editing this video, I just decided to insert this clip off to the right hand side of all of the things I had ordered from Shan. And uh, if you stay tuned for next week's vlog, you will see that um, I have this really cool soap. <laughs> it's the soap to me. Where did I get that from? I don't know. But I have uh, a contractor coming tomorrow to install my backdrop for my photography setup that I have going on for myself. And I'm so excited to be able to try on, like do all of my try on hauls from this point forward with that backdrop. So I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, next week we will have a try on haul. Um, we're also gonna be re-upholstering my couch because I'm tired of looking at my old dusty gray couch. And we will also be finally getting around to replanting that money tree. And we're going to be going to the gym next week. So stay tuned for another vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, let me know. <laughs> I don't know why I keep laughing. I just keep laughing. Anyways, I hope you're laughing too. If you're not, you should be. Or cry. Or both. Because that's what I do sometimes too. But until next week, have a good one, y'all. Really, truly, have a good one. Have a good Monday, Tuesday. You'll see this on Tuesday. Tuesday morning, to be exact. Okay. <laughs> Bye.